Can you say hi? Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katrina and I make motherhood, lifestyle, and cloth diaper videos. And today we are doing Elise's eight month update. Eight months! <laughs> so I know in the last update I said I was going to try and buy a scale. I still haven't. It might not happen, but she's still growing. Just don't know her exact weight. So for food, she has officially switched completely to baby led weaning. We are not doing purees anymore. And she still eats three meals a day and then the same five breastfeeding sessions on top of that. She still has not had any allergic reactions and we are continuing to give her, of course, new foods. A few of the new foods that we have given her this past month are mangoes, watermelon, blackberries. Uh, we started doing more fry type potatoes and she loves those. And hopefully we will be trying mushrooms soon. I planned on doing it this last week, I just forgot. We are also still waiting on teeth. There have been no teeth pop through fully yet. Yeah. Yeah. But she's still teething, and I've noticed that the top gums have gotten a little bumpier, like the two front teeth are starting to come in. I brush her gums every night to kind of help soften the gums, but still nothing yet. So usually she has like four chunks or sections in between feeds during the day, and that's usually when she has the wake time and nap time and now she is not napping at all for the last chunk of the day and I think we might be even going down to just two naps a day. So I think her second nap of the day is gonna disappear in the next month or so. Yeah, only two naps a day. We have fully switched over her wardrobe to 6 to 12 month clothing and at the beginning of the month we had started Elimination Communication, which is a way to potty train. Yeah. yeah! She has been doing amazing with the potty training, and we don't generally change poopy diapers anymore, which is fantastic. She's learning her own signals as well when she does have to use the washroom, which is really amazing. I honestly had no idea that they could learn so young. So now because we're doing elimination communication, we have a little potty set up in her bedroom because there's not quite enough space in our bathroom. But we have officially taken out the rocking chair and switched over her change table area, which was in her hanging wardrobe section, to actually being clothes and blankets, that sort of thing. So no more change pad for her. She has not done any crawling yet. However, she is, like, she's there. She's practically there. She just, I don't think she wants to crawl. She does, whoa, where are you going? Where was I? Right, she does downward dog, like, a lot. Instead of actually crawling, she will actually, like, just go up on her feet and hands instead. And there's been a couple times where she's actually moved forward a little bit. So it's like she's trying to get up to stand rather than just crawl around. However, she does move herself backwards a lot. Yeah. And if she seriously wants to get anywhere, she usually just rolls and will like turn herself to face where she needs to go and then roll some more. Even though she's not actually crawling or anything. Hi. 
she still is very active. She has also started to dance when she hears music. She'll start like bopping along when she hears music. Do you like dancing? I've noticed in the last week or so, she's been actually using more of a pincer grasp while she's been eating. So she's actually able to like grab something smaller and put it in her mouth, not just like hold it and nom on it. She says Dada and Mama quite a lot more and she is... <laughs> she takes great joy in calling us now. I don't know if she actually is calling us, but she does at random times be like, Dada! Yeah. yeah. Can you say Mama? What about Dad? Where's Dad? Where's Dad? Say Dad. Yeah. She had a little bit of a rough time the last week and a half. I think she's going through another leap and growth spurt. So she's just been having a bit of a rough go. I think she just has rough goes when she's <laughs> learning more things. It's just a lot to process for her. Little curl. Yeah. You have a curl. A little fun thing that we've started doing is we have started going on Sunday afternoons to the local produce market and we just go together as a family. It's a lot of fun. Like, we don't spend, like, a whole lot of time there or anything, but it's just, like, a nice little outing. Hi. And she really likes seeing, like, all the fruits and veggies. It's a smaller place, so I usually just put her in the sling. And she's nice and close to me, and she just gets to look around at all the fruits and vegetables, all the bright colors. Yeah. All right, I think that is it for the updates. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. But yes, she is doing well. She loves food. She's getting mobile. Her teeth will eventually come in. If you're new here, be sure to check out the past updates. I will link them in the description below, as well as my cloth diaper series. I just uploaded the third episode last week. So if you haven't checked that out, definitely take a look at that. Where'd you go? Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Say bye. <laughs> bye. You're getting me, you're so close.
Hmph! <laughs> 